League play and Dan Ugla is going to join us for a couple of minutes now. Uh, John Philbin is responsible for me looking the way that I look. And Philbin told me that you got the best set of guns in the clubhouse <laughs> because you work out. This is the result of Philbin with me. But he said, nobody works harder than Dan Ugla. <laughs> well, first of all, you look great, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, that was a leading question, right? There. Well, I, I, like, I like wearing pink, too, so it's, I can, I can appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know about as far as the guns go. I just kind of runs in the family and, you know, touch on them here and there, I guess, you know, maybe they'll stay. But it's also important to be ready, be stay in shape all the time, or you wouldn't have been able to last as long as you have in the major leagues. Yeah, it's always been a been very important to me to, to work out as hard as I can in the off season, trying to maintain it during the season. You know, I, I think it helps, uh, helps staying healthy, you know. I've, I've only been on the DL one time in my whole career, and that was for uh, LASIK surgery. So, you know, I've been lucky so far, but, you know, it's worked out. That is a three-time all star can you compare to us your days with the Marlins because they had some pretty good ball clubs your days with the Braves and the clubhouse is so important to the success of any ball club right you know it's well, I tell you what it's hard to find uh, bad people in baseball uh, especially when it comes to guys you're playing next to we had a great group of guys in Florida you know some of my best friends still this, to this day in baseball um, you know and the same thing in Atlanta but uh, here you know, we're just so talented in every single area, you know, and the other two ball clubs, we were we were talented, but, you know, maybe not as talented in certain areas as others. And, you know, we kind of underproduced there, especially myself in Atlanta. But um, but here it's just there's not one area where we're not excelling at the at the top, you know, talent level in baseball. This is uh, the most talented group I've ever been a part of. You mentioned underproduced in Atlanta, but for seven straight years, you had 20 or more home runs. That's that's producing pretty good. Yes, I mean it was, it was it was uh, not bad. You know, it's uh, the last I guess the last year and month that I was there is probably the toughest. Huh? Yeah, that was probably the toughest. I still hit a lot of homers, but I hit you know 180 or something like that. Um, you know, the last month I got benched after 100 at bats, but you know that is what it is. You know, we're we're we've all moved on and on to bigger and better things. So, uh, you know, but this uh, this club here, man, they're uh, it's just a matter of time before we got off and running. Of your 234 career home runs, I'm guessing one stands out <laughs> back in April the 28th in Atlanta. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That one was tough to beat. You know. Uh, you know, being back in Atlanta, seeing everybody, and then, you know, having that game that we had and, you know, being able to get an opportunity in that kind of situation and be able to, being able to come through for these guys and, and, uh, and this team, it really kind of, all right, you know, now I feel a part of it and that sort of thing. So it was, uh, it was a pretty big moment. But you bounced back after some eye problems, too, which was amazing what you went through last year. Yeah, it was tough, man. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make excuses for anything that's gone on. But it is. You know, it is what it is. I mean, who knows? It, we, there ended up being a problem, and we got it fixed. I feel great. You know, I got off to a slow start, but, you know, the last couple of weeks been coming on pretty strong, and, you know, I'm excited about uh, the way things are going. Well, already this year you got more RBIs than you held all of last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't know. You know, just like I said, you know, it's uh, last year's tough, but... <laughs> It is what it is, and, and we're here now. Once your day comes to an end in the major leagues, once you decide, that's it, I've had it, how about coaching, managing? You know, I never really thought about that. Uh, You'd you know, be perfect. <laughs> I've been told that. I've been told that. And I, you know, I, I love the game with all my heart. I love the, being around the guys. I love smiling and laughing and having a good time. I love making other people smile and laugh and, and have a good time. So, uh, But as far as coaching and, and managing, you know, I'm a – you know, the first year or two, I'm really going to take time off and be a dad and enjoy you. my life and kind of figure things out. So I'm never going to say never, but, you know, it's not something that I've thought about. Dan, thanks for your time very much. Nothing but the best the rest of the year. I appreciate that. Thank you. Dan Uglar, special guest in that's Extra.